I know you were the one who actually found him. Yes, I was home uh, alone with him. And he, we had a little discussion earlier and I was at a loss as to what to do. I didn't know what to do, how to really, you know, help him because he, he became very paranoid, very paranoid. Worried about getting beaten or attacked. Yes, and I tried talking to him, so he went upstairs and I was just laying on my bed and he came in, he said, Ma, you're, that was his thing. Ma, you all right? I said, yeah, I'm okay. He went back upstairs and I hear all this moving. So I figured, you know, he was in his brother's room. He's situating the room so he could get comfortable and watch TV. Then I hear him pacing from one room to the other. But when Khalif is upset, he paces. So I didn't pay attention. Then all of a sudden I hear this loud noise. And I'm like, oh my goodness, a child and threw his brother's TV out the window. But I said, he can't because there's bars. So I said, wait a minute, I go upstairs. I went in his brother's room, nothing. Then I went in the other room and he had kicked out the air conditioner covers. And I saw this gold rope thing. And I ran downstairs and when I opened the backyard door, his foot, one of his feet was on the, the bar of the gate. And I said, Khalid, stop playing. This is not a joke, it's not funny. I said, Khalid, and then I got afraid to open the door all the way in case it was my fault that the, he, you know, he snapped. But when I, pe when I looked up, his head was just hanging back. He was gone. And that loud noise was his body banging up against the house. He had been fighting for five years to proclaim his innocence. I can't tell you how sorry we all are for your loss, Vanita. Um, I know we had mentioned it, Mayor de Blasio has spoken up and invoked Khalif's name. President Obama wrote about it in the Washington Post in banning solitary confinement for juveniles. Even Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy has talked about Khalif's case. And yet, to this day, you feel you've not heard no. an apology. You know, when I heard Obama, when I, um, that he mentioned Khalif, I was like, oh goodness, finally. But he, the President of the United States acknowledged it. Mayor de Blasio and the, and the judge, but the city, the city won't acknowledge it. Rikers, NYPD, the judicial system, all three of them had a part in my son's death. And nobody has come forward to take the blame.